Prabhu and Lata was a lovely couple had a daughter named Satya. A small family lived happily in an apartment. On a regular midnight Satya went to her dad's room so she felt something strange in her room and want to sleep with him. So her mother went to sleep in Satya's room to sleep. Next day Lata told Prabhu that she also feels the strange things in Satya's room. Prabhu feels uneasy and asks her daughter about the disturbance in the room. She says no. Next day night Prabhu hears some noise from her daughter's room and opened it but there is no one other than Satya. Prabhu discussed those things with his office friends. Next day Satya teacher calls her mother says she was looking down all the time in class and her grades also getting poor. Lata says this things to Prabhu. Prabhu fixes a sound monitor in her daughter room to watch over. In the middle of night Prabhu hears noise that his daughter speaking to someone. He ran over to her room. The device is already thrown out from the room. He export the audio from the device and hears it. He confirmed that his daughter speaking on her own. Next day he took her to a psychiatrist. Satya says that she have a friend named Sonu. He only visible to her eyes only and cried. Doctor convinced her and took some test and give some medicines. But the reports were all normal. Doctor got confused. Next day Satya stand on the top of the building attempting a suicide. Prabhu saves her and ask her why did you do that. She says her invincible friend want to do that. Prabhu told her that he was not real. Satya says Sonu want to say only one word, Kathir. Prabhu got scared and shocked of how did he know about Kathir. He finally believes that Satya's invisible friend is a ghost. So he hired a exorcist team to exorcise the ghost. They fix his thermal cameras and sound system in house to watch Satya. Suddenly Satya was disappeared in her room. They hear noise from another locked room. Prabhu hit the door and open it. Satya was fully possessed by Sonu. He says that Prabhu has to kill his brother Kathir. Yes. Kathir was his twin brother. They separated in childhood by his mother because of Kathir's angry behavior. He became a psychopath and kills his own father. Satya said a recorded video in her mobile that she says who is Sonu and why he want to kill Kathir. Kathir works as a security guard in a hill station. He had a wife and twin children Sonu and Manu. He looks very kind and happy when with her family. On a regular day a group of tourist visits the hill station and bully Kathir and his sons. Kathir want to leave them but thrown a trash can on him. He leaves silently. On the night Kathir went to forest for an hunt. Sonu jumps into the jeep secretly to see the hunt. But Kathir really want the human hunt who they bullied them on day. He hunt down all of them. Sonu sees and recorded in his mobile. He got scared and ran over the forest. Kathir captured him and warned not to tell anything to his mother. But Sonu told all of it. She decided to escape from Kathir on the boat. But Kathir captured them all and kills his wife and Sonu and stays with Manu in the forest. After watching the video Prabhu realized that the god was his brother's son and want to avenge his mother death. He decided to save his daughter and Manu. He went to hill station to meet Manu at his school. He doesn't believe that the girl was possessed by his brother's ghost. Satya says how his mother died to Manu. He trust them. Prabhu went to Kathir in the middle of night to kill him. He was stoked by Manu and warned that his father was dangerous. But he don't give up he want to save his daughter. Kathir arrives in the place and got shocked to see his twin brother. Prabhu told Kathir to take Manu with him to save his daughter from Sonu. But he won't agree. They fight to each other. Prabhu beaten up by Kathir. Unexpectedly Satya came into the place with Kathir bow and arrow and shot him. Kathir ran over to the girl to kill. Prabhu jumps over Kathir from the hill and they both died. 
Sonu revealed from Sachi body, and they cried by their father's death.